was 24, I went down to dinner one day with my parents. I just moved back from living in China. The best year, most fun, purpose-driven year of my life. And I'm sitting down at the dinner table, and my parents were commenting that I seemed a little bit down. And I was trying to kind of suppress what I wanted to say, but eventually what I said was, I hate my life. I literally hate every minute of every day of my life. And I think they never see me so unhappy for a long time that they literally were worried. And they were like, all right, listen, just take whatever money you have saved and just go take a trip somewhere. Like, we're kind of worried. Just go do something. Now, in this video, I want to share a little bit about that kind of worst depression in my life. I've never had depression before or since. And I want to share how that overall phase of my life was the launch pad for me reinventing myself. And I want to share what I did in this new kind of reinvent yourself series. What's up guys, Alex Hein, author of the book, Master the Day. Now I know, like, if I knew what I wanted at that time, it would have been easy to take little daily action steps. But I know, just like you, so many of you have told me that the thing is, if I knew what I wanted, then I would be going for it, right? I mean, that's something I hear so much from people. How do you figure out what you want? How do you figure out what you're passionate about? I mean, I had tried all the advice I give here, listening to my intuition, trying things out, seeing what I was passionate about, and nothing was happening. Like, that internal compass, wherever it was, it was gone. It was floating in the ocean. I don't know, because I had no intuitions about what to do next or where to go. And so for me, I figured, well, it's been two years. I haven't done crap in my life. I'm aging. I'm not getting anywhere closer to where I want to be. So instead, why don't I just choose growth? You know, I listened to this personal development audiobook called Lead the Field by Earl Nightingale. And he talks about how he defines success, which is that success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. And so I said to myself, well, if I don't know where I want to go or what I'm passionate about, then why don't I just focus on growth? So each morning and each night on that piece of paper now that is an ironclad ritual in my life, you can't see it, but it's right on the wall behind the camera. That ritual became, I'm going to listen to an inspirational talk in the morning because I hated the mornings. They were so depressing. And then after that, I would just look at that piece of paper and I would just see, okay, this is what I'm working on growing. My fitness, I want to get better. My friends and relationships, I want to improve them and make them more numerous. My financial success, I want to figure out how to earn more money so I can travel. I want to try to find what I'm passionate about. I don't know how, but I'm going to set up some habits and some things I want to test and I'm going to do that. So the first thing that I did was I just tried to figure out what could I do on a daily basis if I did not know the direction I wanted to move in. And I knew the one thing I could focus on was growth. Now, the second thing is I focused on the golden triad of health and wellness. And to me, the golden triad in terms of more of the inner aspects of wellness are emotional health, physical health, so fitness, and connection health, as I call it. So I thought one of the interesting things in my research has been that in the blue zones where people live to be 100 in really high numbers. So over 50% of the habits related to that will predict whether or not you live to be 100 have nothing to do with what you eat and have nothing to do with exercise. And I think that's so interesting, but what they're related to is social interactions, social networks, your relationships, whether you feel like you have a purpose and you feel connected. So it's so interesting to me that people undervalue this because it is really emotional and mental health. And so what I did was... For that golden triad of feeling good, that was the point, feeling good. Not looking good, not fitness, feeling good. And so what I did for physical health was I made sure I went to the gym four days a week for one hour. For the emotional health, I basically, I started cutting out the people that I didn't like being around that made me feel crappy. I started doing more activities that were flow producing for me and exciting and inspiring they literally felt good in my body and when I thought about them. And then for the connection health, I just tried to spend at least one hour of a day with a person. That's it. Whether it was my family, I went to dinner with my parents down at their house, or I was living there until 26, from 24 to 26, or meeting friends three days a week, or volunteering, or offering just to help someone out in a coffee shop. I would work in coffee shops. And you know what? If I had no one else to talk to for that day, I would strike up a conversation with a stranger and I was like, hey, how's life? 
Like literally, that's, <laughs> that's literally what I did. And I think that this idea of the three golden triads of mental health, of feeling good rather than fitness, made such a big difference in my life that I still remember them a lot to this day. And so it started with, I don't know what I'm passionate about. I don't know what I want to do. I'm just going to focus on growth and trying things out. I'm going to focus on how I feel, the rituals that make me feel good, even if I can't show anything externally for that. And then from there, it was, well, even if I don't know the path I want to go down, then you know what? I'm just going to force myself. And I found that, you know, surprisingly, forcing myself when I was in a depression was actually a really good decision. Because, you know what? Nothing felt good for a long time. I didn't feel anything. Nothing felt good. Nothing felt inspired. There was no inspired action. And so I was like, screw it. I forced myself to get the personal trainer certificate. I forced myself to start personal training, even though it's not what I'm passionate about. I got internet marketing jobs. I got other marketing jobs. I just forced myself to stay busy and to do something. Because I knew that, listen, if I wasn't taking any steps towards any of the open doorways in life, I wouldn't even see any of the doorways. But if I opened one door and realized, you know what, I hate this, and guess what? More doors would open. So it was the very act of choosing to open one of the doors, even if it wasn't the passion, the end goal, what I want to do for the rest of my life, I knew that it would lead to the next brick and the next brick. And where I am now is very different. So I want to turn this into a series because I want this to be an important playlist for any of you if you're at this stage in your life where where you're 15 or 20 or 80 and you're like, you know what? This is not the life I wanted. I thought I would be here by now. Whatever that is, whatever age you are, and I don't like where I am and I'm not happy. I'm not fulfilled. So the next videos in this series are going to be based on some of the rituals and the roadmaps and the inner work that I did to reinvent the path and feel good and get on a place now where at 31, I love my life. I love every day. I feel like if I won a billion dollars, I would change nothing. That's a really good place to be. And for the first time in my life, I'm here. So the next videos in this series are going to be focusing on the inner, the habits, and the roadmap going forward. Before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, like what is the aspect of your life that you would choose to reinvent the most? Because right now, it's the thing that dissatisfies you the most. Comment there below. All right, guys. So I hope that helps. Best way to stay in touch is to grab the free seven-day personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. And then you can also get the last two videos here and right here.